Hey Porsche fans, what is up? Today I will show you the way I wash and wax my Porsche 928 GTS. And there are two reasons for doing this today. First of all, it's King's Day in the Netherlands, which is a national holiday in celebration of our dear King's birthday. Usually on this day, the entire country is one big party with activities and drinking everywhere. But as you can imagine during the Corona pandemic, <laughs> it's pretty boring today. And the second reason is pretty obvious. I mean, take a look at the car. It is dirty. Usually the car sits in our garage safe and sound, where you should keep a car like this, obviously. But a while back we did our own Extreme Makeover Home Edition, as you can see in this video. And you can imagine that a lot of stuff we kept in the attic had to be stored somewhere else. So we put all that in the garage and the car had to sit in the driveway. And as we kind of expected, sorting out all the stuff in the garage as well as finishing the work in the attic takes a lot of time. And uh, the car has accumulated a lot of dirt and bird shit in the meantime. In the nine years that I've owned this car now, I've cleaned it a lot of times, obviously. Sometimes very thoroughly, but sometimes just to keep it in a presentable state. And if you have the time and the energy, you can spend many hours on cleaning this car. And I did so when I got married. This car is the car I drove when we got married. I'll save that story for another video, but here's a quick glimpse. Me and my brother and my late father and my best man from the wedding, we worked on it until you could see its reflections from the moon. But that's not for today. Today I want to show you how I clean this car in under an hour, including dry time and even lunch. Let's go! First, high pressure cleaner. And I know what you're thinking. No, not a high pressure cleaner on a classic car. Don't do it. Well, it's an entry level high pressure cleaner, so the pressure is not that high. Also, this car was built in an era in which they actually knew what they were doing. It's nothing experimental. It's just original German craftsmanship. And the original paint job still looks great today. And it will keep looking great if I just stay away from some small damaged areas that I know of. After this, I come back with a bucket of lukewarm water, a sponge and some car shampoo in this particular case it's turtle wax auto shampoo I tend to use whatever car shampoo I come across or whatever they have on offer in the store I haven't really noticed any real differences between them they usually have some wax added to the formula which does a decent job of making the car shine after just washing it and the best way to do this is to divide it into three sections starting at the top with the roof the hood and the rear spoiler and the pillars working your way down to the second area being the doors and the front fenders and the rear fenders and lastly the bottom parts of the fenders and the bottom parts of the doors these are the parts where the dirt accumulates so you don't want any dirt in your sponge and causing scratches all over the car so that's why you do these parts last when it comes to the rims there are specific cleaners for the rims which give a really nice effect but are a lot of work even though these are just five spoke rims I have a different approach to make it look nice but save a lot of time which I will show you in a minute. For now I will just give it a quick wash with my sponge and car shampoo. And there is the dreaded high pressure cleaner again, this time from a greater distance because all we have to do is rinse off the car. So far so good, time for some lunch and let the car dry because for the next step you need a dry car. Next step, waxing. When it comes to this finishing touch, I am a little more picky about which products I use. In the past I have used waxes that become white when they dry up and this is particularly annoying when you spill some in small cracks or in black rubber parts, which is pretty hard to clean. A brand that I am quite fond of is Meguiar's. It's a quality wax which dries up translucent so you don't have this problem. I am not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. That is, not yet. If you're a Meguiar's representative, feel free to contact me. <laughs> now I should point out that you should never wax your car on a hot day or in direct sunlight. And yes I know it looks like it was quite a sunny day today, which it was, yes, but it was only 15 degrees Celsius or 60 Fahrenheit, so I kind of broke the rule a little bit, but I hope you can let me get away with it. Don't mind my neighbor right there, he's a very friendly man, just trying to get a few minutes of YouTube fame. So this part you all know, Mr. Miyagi, Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. But in order to save time I only do visible parts, the top parts and the middle parts. I don't do the bottom parts of everything because you hardly see it and the car shampoo has already done a pretty good job at making it shine. If I were to put the car in a museum, obviously I would wax these areas too. Or if I would get married again and drive this car again on my wedding day, I would wax it but I have no plans of doing so, so this will suffice for now. And here's a little product I like to use, it's called Tire Shine, which makes your tire shine. And even if you clean your rims very thoroughly and you make them shine, you make them pop, 
your tires will always be dark grey. And it's the contrast between the tire and the rims that makes your wheels look great. And making your tires a few shades blacker does just that. Finishing touch is cleaning the windows. Now I usually do this first, but I thought I could get away with just cleaning them with a pressure cleaner. At first I thought they were clean enough, but once the rest of the car was polished, they stood out as dirty. All done, here's the result, done in under an hour, including lunch and drying time. And here is the subject of one of the next videos. It's the third brake light which actually came loose from the rear window. I need to fix that, but that's for tomorrow. Although I still could not put the car in my garage, I do have a temporary tent which I can use to protect the car from dirt and bird shit. So let's put it there for now. For now I hope you like this video, if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my Porsche 928 GTS in the future. Bye bye!